Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what I'd like to do in this video is take a look at post processors. Now, first of all, what is a post processor? Well, a post processor is what generates the CNC code. So what happens is when you accumulate all your machining operations, when you want to create a CNC program, within 1CNC you're going to right click and select post group. Now, the post processor is going to take all these machining operations and create a CNC program. Now, you can select different post processors for different machine tools. In this example, we're going to use this post here called Fanuc OT. I'll click Post. I'll just use the default name here and click Save. We'll overwrite that. And here's the CNC program. So let's say that we need to edit our post processor. Let me show you how to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to head over here to the Command Manager. I'm going to double click. And then here, instead of selecting Post, I'm going to select Setup. And when I do that, 1CNC is going to take this FANUC post processor and show me the actual configuration of that. And this is where we can make changes to the post processor. Now, if you change your mind, you can select a different post if you want to. If you want to make a copy of this post processor, you can click New Post. 1CNC creates a new post, and it just appends a different number at the end there. I'm going to call this post processor Sample. Now, you don't have to create a new post every time you make edits, but sometimes it's a good idea, and that way you can keep the original template. So I'm not going to initially go through all these tabs. I'm going to get right to the point. Let's go to Posting Format. Now, with Posting Format, what you want to do is you want to decide which area of the post processor do you want to make edits to. And that's controlled right here where it says Pick a Format. In other words, we can come through here and we can, for example, make changes to the start and end of the program. Or we can make changes to, let's say, the turn tool format. This is the format that's going to get used when we perform a tool change. So you can select various different things, rapid moves, feed moves, clockwise, counterclockwise, counts, can cycles, uh, compensation, all different areas of the post processor you have control over. For this first example, let's make edits to the start finish format. I'm going to keep it really simple, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these comments that happen at the very beginning of the CNC program. That looks good. I'm going to come down here where it says inlines. This is the CNC code that's going to be output at the end of the program. Just as an example, I'm going to delete that. Now, of course, if you want to, you can hard code in information. What do I mean by hard code? That simply just means that we're going to type in code that's always going to be output. So why don't we type in G0, how about G20 for inches, and how about G90 for absolute. And of course, you can hard code information down here as well. I'm going to click OK to that, and once I do that, 1CNC compiles the post processor. What does that mean? Well, it takes the post processor and all those edits that we've made, and it saves them in a format that's going to execute really fast. So if I want to see the CNC code from that post processor, we're going to select FANUC OT Sample. Remember, that's the post processor I made edits to. We're going to click Post. I'll click Save. I'll just use the same name again. We'll click Yes on that. And here's the new CNC program with all the edits that I made. You can see that I got rid of all the uh, comments at the very beginning of the CNC program. I hard-coded in the G0, G20, G90. And if we look at the very end of the program, you can see that there's no reference of any G28 callouts. All right, that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to continue to take a look at editing post processors within 1CNC. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.